Do you want to learn animation but don't know where to start? Are you a beginner, looking for the perfect tool to begin your animation journey? Then you are in the right place. I am Captain Max. I've sailed across the lengths and depths of the App Store and found the top 5 animation apps for iPhone and iPad users that are beginner-friendly. I rank them based on factors like simplicity of the interface, ease of creating animations, pricing, and so on. I have also listed the pros and cons of each of these tools so that you can make the right choice. Are you ready to see the list? Let the adventure begin! At number 5 we have, TweenCraft. This app is available for both iPad and iPhone users. First we have to select a background and a character to begin the project. Regarding animation, you have to individually move the character's body parts to animate it. Sometimes you might find this to be a pain in the fingers, to move each of the parts considering how small they are. Timeline in this tool is unique. Each character comes with a set of expressions, the number of available expressions varies with each character. Each character comes with a fixed voice. You can directly record and add the voiceover to the characters. Looking at the pros of this software, it's good for comic style animation, has a simple and quick workflow, super easy voiceover adding option. So what are the major cons? Not for you if you wish to learn traditional animation style, very limited pre-built actions and expressions, does not have a separate timeline for audio tracks. The one thing that I hate the most about this app is that the backgrounds, characters, props and most of the things inside the library are not free. Let's look at the next tool on our list. At number 4 we have Animation Desk. It is for people who wish to create animations in the traditional style. It is available for both iPhone and iPad users. It has a pretty standard interface just like any other animation tool. At the top we have the basic drawing tools like brush, eraser, and selector. On the right side we have the layers. We have a timeline with an option to animate in frames. A good tool for anybody who wants to step into the world of animation. Here is a quick animation that I made using this tool. So what are some major pros? Works smoothly without any lag. It has a workflow similar to advanced animation apps. It has a separate timeline to edit the audio tracks. On the side of cons, adding text is not possible in the free plan. Does not have an audio or music library. A major turn off is it has ads. Next at number 3, we have Flip-A-Clip. It is a very popular software. As soon as you open the app, you can see some pretty amazing animation clips. Don't get excited. It's just an ad. Interface is simple and has a workflow similar to that of Animation Desk. You can find the different drawing and editing tools on the left. And it has a timeline that allows frame-by-frame -frame animation. Looking at the pros, it has a pretty simple and easy-to-use interface. Detailed audio timeline to add and edit audio tracks. Another thing is that most of the options are available in the free plan. Talking about the cons, frame-by-frame -frame animation is not suitable for creating quick animations. The long unskippable ads are really annoying. At the second position we have Plotagon. It is the only software in our list that can generate 3D animations. It is available for both iPhone and iPad. First you have to select a location and then the characters and relevant actions that you want them to do. To create conversations between the characters, click on the dialog box and select the character. Now type in the dialog as text. You can continue the same process and create a complete conversation. You might get confused with the app at the first glance as it has a unique interface. Once you get the hang of it, it is easy to use. One cold coffee, please. That would be $3, ma'am. Here you go. Here are some major pros of this software. Considering that it creates 3D animation, it is super easy to use. Camera movements are really astounding. Has a wide variety of actions. Talking about cons, characters and backgrounds are very limited. Library takes a longer loading times, and it shows a lot of ads. at 
number one we have Animaker. It is available for both iPad and iPhone. The interface is pretty simple to understand. At the top is the workspace, then we have the timeline and below that is the library. Start with adding a background and a character to the project. You can find the pre-built animations under the Actions tab. There are more than 100 different such actions. Creating text animation is totally free in this app. This is the best tool for beginners who want to create animation videos in a short time. Let's see the pros of this app. You can build your own custom character. There are more than 100 different pre-built animations. It has an audio library of more than 30,000 tracks. Has access to tons of free images, videos, GIFs and icons. Can create both live action and animated videos. Talking about the cons, not for you if you are looking for a frame-by-frame -frame animation tool. And it doesn't have a lip-sync animation feature. Hope you all enjoyed the journey. Make sure to follow this channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Until we meet again.